Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I just threw together some scrap wood I had to make a migratory cover for the nukes. Um, I guess it's called a migratory cover because it's pretty much the same dimensions, um, the width of the nuke box, so you can stack them together right next to each other so there's no overhang. Uh, so you'd end up with spaces. I guess it's easier to, uh, to transport when you can stack them together like that. But, um, yeah, I think I used this three-quarter inch plywood to mix cement at some point uh, on top of here. Small batch of cement for some project I had. Oh, probably when I did the uh, threshold um, on the door and the lean-to. But the reason I put this together is that I have this uh, three-and-a-half inch hole cutter, um, hole saw, and that should accommodate this mason jar here so put that over that and I don't know if that's gonna work or not I know some people what happens is if you take this out go to change it you're gonna have bees all over the, the, the cover here then you have to put this back on um, also for ventilation purposes I, I bought this just arrived today from Home Depot it's eighth inch hardware cloth and I notice some people have a design where they have hardware cloth but the bees are going to have to be able to get up in there so I don't know if this seats uh, whether it goes through a three-quarter inch enough so that the bees can reach it if they Block their access completely with this hardware cloth if they can feed through the hardware cloth. But anyways, yeah, I want to drill a hole in this and then put the jar on. And then this would be used, I'll paint it. This will be used temporarily or intermediately for the nuke that I have. Somehow I have to take that nuke that's up on the trellis and gradually bring that down. I'll have to put it on a, on a, a ladder, I guess, and... I think you can move them like three feet or five feet at a time. So I still have to do that. So it's probably a good idea to, if, you, if you're just catching a swarm for your own yard, to catch them where you're going to uh, keep the hive in the first place. That would be nice and convenient. Um, so yeah, let me get to drilling the hole in this. through. Low charge and all. Let's see if the jar fits. Whoa. That goes like all the way through. So that would, if I put that mesh on the other side there, that will be right up against the mesh. Now there's a little bit of an indent here. I don't think the bees can get to that. Unless it dripped onto the mesh. I don't see how they do that. Because there's an indent. And might as well put a coat of paint on. So I went ahead and I built a nuke box. Felt a little motivated. Um, it's a lot easier to build. It's just lap joints. So the dimensions were in, in the book too for the nuke. I'm just going to go ahead and paint this now. Hey everyone, so here's the activity on this beehive, on this nuke, on this new swarm. And uh, it was overcast today, but it's warming up pretty hot and humid right now. The sun breaking through. But um, there's that nuke that I just made. I hope the new paint doesn't turn the bees off. But uh, a little out of practice here, so I'm anticipating getting stung. And the anticipation is worse than the actual sting believe it or not 
So um, I can see some fanning going on in the front of the hive there, in the bottom. But um, scrounged up some pine needles. Hopefully they're not too wet. And I mixed up a little bit of sugar syrup, one to one. And I have a pollen patty that I had in the fridge uh, forever in a baggie. I hope that doesn't go bad, but uh, let's see if they take any of the syrup and if they're interested in the pollen patty. And I'm going to put the syrup in the nuke upside down so it's uh, not in direct sun. And I think I want to start concentrating on ventilation too. So I'll make some short boxes I can put holes in so I don't have to put holes in my nukes. And uh, put that eighth inch hardware cloth on for ventilation. But yeah, let's uh, get into this hive here and hopefully I'm not gonna, there is a, an inner cover on the top there so I'm not going to remove that. I'm not even gonna look at the bees, uh, disturb them. I just wanna see if they take the syrup. Well, wasn't expecting that, but it is a beehive. They're all on the inner cover here. I mean, on the uh, top cover. Make sure the queen isn't there. No queen that I can see. Always a possibility that she's a marked queen too. So, got a lot of activity. Looks like a lot of bees covering everything. And, uh, Let's see if they're interested. Oh, that's right. What I want to do well, let's see if they're interested in this at all. Oh, this is two folded over, I think. Let's see if they get any interest in that. I don't want to stay here too long. I'm right next to the, the wren nest box. Not too happy with me, but um, yeah, what I want to do, I don't want to use any smoke, but maybe just put some whiff over the, over the front here. I wonder if I should put it on top of the opening or hmm. you can see that there they're venting there so let me invert this jar. Away from the hive. A couple of drops to get them interested. We'll see if they go for that. Well, they're interested in it right there. Hive body over. Whoops, that was squished my first bee. The dimensions of this one seem a little different than the ones that I uh, purchased. It's going to have to do. It's a little the width is a little less, I don't know, I followed the book. Yeah, so following the book, this is a nine inch wide nuke and the ones that I ordered, I think from Man Lake, a nine and three quarters. 
So at least I know how to make them now. They're not that difficult. I can make one of these tomorrow. But for now, it's good enough. It serves its purpose. I'm gonna have to double check though. I don't know how this accommodates five frames. Must be tight. So it looks like they're interested in the syrup and they're feeding off the pollen patty. So the new care up on the trellis, I'm going to go ahead and put the migratory cover on even though it's only nine inches wide. And those boxers are nine and three quarters. And give it a pint of um, sugar syrup and some pollen patty. I, I put two inner covers on there for some reason. Okay, let's take a look what we got here. Got some bees. I don't know how they survive up here. It must be pretty hot. Hope these aren't nurse bees. All right, I don't know what to make of this. I've got an inner cover here and I have this little portion here that was made to do like an extension. You can drill holes in it so you don't drill holes in your main boxes. And there's a group of bees in between here. So, I don't know why that is when I have frames, enough frames in there, but you can see the bees in there. I wonder if they're making comb. Oh, maybe that's what they're doing. That's not good. So, I might just put the migratory cover right on top of this. That's it. So take note as to uh, how full that is. You can see there and we'll take a look at that tomorrow morning.